were fatally stabbed are to meet gang members across the country to urge them to give up their knives. The Save a Life, Surrender Your Knife project will also see a new amnesty on the streets. Blades handed in will be transformed into a giant sculpture of an angel in memory of those who've been killed. Ben Godfrey reports. They live miles apart, but their grief has brought them together. Pleased to meet you. Three mothers met in Manchester to honour three sons they lost to knife crime. Lisa McNeil's son Danny was 21, a father to a baby boy. In April last year, he was fatally stabbed with a sword in Oswald Street. Just miss him so much. Mm. Just not having him around. It's, it's really hard. Alison Cope is the mother of the Birmingham rapper Depsman. Joshua Ribeiro was 18. He was stabbed through the heart last year. If there's anyone that can get the message across, it's the people that have been directly affected. So that is usually the parents, first of all. Obviously there are other family members, but it starts with the parents. Lisa Minot's son, Fusilier David Lee Collins from Manchester, was an off-duty soldier stabbed to death in Cyprus in 2012. The women are backing a new campaign called Save a Life, Surrender Your Knife and will urge gang members to give up their weapons. Just put cold on each knife and then obviously if, I, if we're under 16 year olds carrying a knife then we know where it's coming from because somebody will be registered. In the space of just a few weeks and simply by word of mouth over 30 knives have been handed into this campaign including this flick knife and this machete. The British Ironworks Centre in Shropshire will take the knives and build a 20 feet tall sculpture known as Knife Angel. One uh, gentleman brought in a carving knife, very sharp, found his son with it uh, in the street and wanted to uh, dispose of it safely. It may take months for Knife Angel to take shape, 